12 investigation reveals an area school district is failing its kids. The Kentucky Department of Education found Newport Independent Schools is among the lowest performing districts in the state. It has been for years, and the state says that in some cases it's getting worse. David Winter has more. The Kentucky Department of Education has Newport Independent Schools on its radar. All of Newport's schools score in Kentucky's bottom 5%. Now, we obtained four internal KDE audits that show substantial deficiencies in how the district is teaching its kids. How was the day? Good. What'd you do? Jacob McCoy is a fifth grader at Newport Intermediate. His mom, Ashley, meets him after school every day. Their three block walk home is just about the first time in his day that Jacob feels completely safe. I don't even like school. Because I get bullied. Ashley is beside herself. He cries every day because he don't want to go. As me as a parent, I can't force him. I have to force him to go and it's hard. Ashley and Jacob's situation is not unique. The Kentucky Department of Education in late January ordered performance audits of Newport Independent Schools. They reveal low expectations for students, a lack of instructional plans for the district, and administrators who rule by intimidation and fear. The audits reviewed data from Newport Intermediate. The school performed below state averages in all state assessments. Seventh and eighth grade girls had no proficiency in science. It does not get any better for the primary school. Only 35% of classrooms were found to engage in rigorous coursework or discussion. Here's a little perspective from the website schoolgrades.org. It bases its grades on how schools would rank internationally in comparison with the performance of students in more than 60 countries on the Program for International Student Assessment, or PISA exam. School grades shows that you would have to go to school in Mexico, Chile, Thailand, or Kazakhstan to find students of similar ability to those at Newport Intermediate, and F. I had a pile of 40 desks on top of two teacher's desks. Most of them were broken. It was gross. Lila Campbell used to teach at Newport Intermediate. She says that she was let go three days prior to retiring from the district because she spoke out against bullying in Newport schools. We were unable to verify that personnel matter, but she does agree with the audits claiming intimidation, fear and bullying are the norm for both students and teachers. It's just really sad for those kids. The audits show a further decline in third and sixth grade reading scores and in seventh and eighth grade math. So we were a little bit shocked at the report. I personally not accepted it. District administrators earlier this month held a special meeting to discuss the assessments. Superintendent Kelly Middleton even labeled chairs to represent some sources in the audit in order to discredit the reports. Assistant Superintendent Amy Gilkison claims that parts of the audits are biased and untrue and that some sources interviewed had vengeful motives. But our biggest concern is was the process really followed to fidelity? Is our report valid or not? The first step toward improvement is acknowledgement of the fact that there are some areas of growth. We caught up with the Kentucky Commissioner of Education at a tech leadership conference in Lexington. He says KDE is working together with the district on improvement efforts. Could I use additional state resources to support that work? Absolutely. But is the problem a lack of funding? Is Newport's poor performance due to a higher level of poverty in the area? Look at Blanchester Public Schools in Ohio. 89% of kids there are on free or reduced lunch. That's more than Newport. Teachers there get paid $10,000 a year less than teachers in Newport. And they have 50% more students per teacher. But Blanchester is 79% better in reading and 65% better in math. It's a little consolation for Jacob McCoy, who says he wants to go into law enforcement. So I decided to be a police officer. Maybe you could stop some people from bullying others. Should parents in Newport be hopeful that things are going to improve for their children? I think they should be cautiously optimistic. 
The audits do show increased proficiency in eighth grade reading, increased professional development for teachers, and solid fiscal management. Now, the Kentucky Department of Education has given the district 30 days to put a plan in place for improvement, but KDE has no recourse should the district not comply. KDE says that the local school board is the only body that can discipline district administration, and it is up to the voters to hold the school board accountable. Back to you. David, thank you. There are three other schools in the area on the bottom 5% of the list. Holmes Middle School in Covington, R.A. Jones Middle School in Boone County, and Silver Grove Elementary.